Got another past exam question for the buffer solutions topic. So we're up to number 12 now. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so the question wants us to explain basically how the carbonic acid hydrogen carbonate mixture acts as a buffer in blood and we have to do a calculation to calculate the salt to acid ratio in healthy blood. So we'll start with the explanation of how the buffer works. So this is the buffer system here. So we've got the carbonic acid in equilibrium with the hydrogen carbonate ions, and obviously there's an H plus ion as well. So we'll talk about what happens if acid goes into the blood first. So acid goes into the blood, the H plus concentration will go up which means that the salt ion present in the buffer will just react with the excess H plus ions and send the equilibrium over to the left hand side. Okay, so we'll deal with the opposite scenario now. So if alkali or base enters the blood, then they're going to react with the H plus ions, decrease the concentration, and so the reservoir of the carbonic acid just dissociates more, sends the equilibrium over to the right. So moving on to the calculation now, so we've got our casted over salt, I call it the casted over salt expression. The H plus concentration of a buffer is equal to the Ka, the acid dissociation constant for the weak acid, multiplied by the acid concentration divided by the salt concentration, casted over salt. So we're after the salt to acid ratio. So you can see in the casted over salt expression, it's the, it's the wrong way around. So we've got acid over salt, acid to salt ratio. We want it to be salt over acid. So all we need to do is rearrange this, put that up there, that down there, and obviously that's going to come under the bottom. So there's the expression there. There's that salt to acid ratio that we're after. Um, we haven't been given Ka directly. We've been given pKa, and we haven't been given the H plus concentration directly we've been given the pH for the healthy blood. So Ka, remember, equals 10 to the minus pKa, and H plus concentration equals 10 to the minus pH. So 10 to the minus 6.38 gives us that, 10 to the minus 7.40 gives us that, which comes out at a ratio of 10.5, it's actually 10.47, I've just rounded it to three significant figures, ratio of 10.5 to one. Moving on to part B, explaining the role of ligand substitution in red blood cells. So when you breathe in, oxygen forms a coordinate bond with your Fe2 plus ions in haemoglobin. So the oxygen is then carried to the cells where a ligand substitution reaction takes place with water, H2O, or you could say CO2, it's, that's acceptable as well. And then the, the blood carries the um, water slash CO2 to the lungs and it's breathed out. And for the second bullet point, why is carbon monoxide toxic? That's because it forms a stronger coordinate bond with the Fe2 plus in your haemoglobin than oxygen. So basically once it's bound to the Fe2 plus, it doesn't come off and therefore your blood oxygen carrying capacity is reduced. 